Good morning children. Today we'll see a new topic that is surface area and volume of spheres. In your previous classes, I mean from the beginning of uh, when you started with three dimensional figures like spheres, cuboids and cubes in your earlier classes like in class 5th and 6th. Uh, you were well aware about how the solid looks and uh, about the spheres uh, you have experienced this particular 3D figure in your daily lives also. That is a solid figure, a spheres like a ball which you play on with the ground in the ground like basketball or football or a cricket ball, right? So apart from that playground, you might have seen a lot of examples in your kitchen also, in your home also, right? A lot of ex examples of spheres you must have seen. So sphere is a 3D figure in which all the points in a plane are the same distance from a given point. That is the center of the sphere. It is just like a very similar definition to the circle. The diameter of the sphere is the straight line that connects two points on the sphere surface while passing through the center. The radius of the sphere is a straight line from the center of the sphere to any point on the surface of the sphere. Like, So if you define the radius of a circle that is a line segment joining the center to the circumference that is called as a radius of the circle. In the same manner here also, the radius of a sphere is a straight line from the center of the sphere to any point on the surface of the sphere, right? So by looking at this diagram, it will uh, clear the entire doubts here. Suppose I am taking this imaginary as a center. So the point, a line segment from the center to the surface of the sphere is the radius and one which is passing through the center will become the diameter okay so first of all in the category of class 9th we'll talk about the surface area of a sphere as well as the volume of the sphere the surface area of the sphere with radius r is given by s equals to 4 pi r square also if you want to change r in the forms of d that becomes s equals to 4 pi d square by 4 if diameter is given you can apply this formula and if radius is given, you can use the first one, that is 4 pi r squared. As you know that r is nothing but d by 2, right? So if you place d by 2 in place of r in the first equation, like this one, like this one, 4 pi, and then d by 2, whole square, you will get the result, this one, okay? Next is the volume of a sphere. There is another special formula for finding the volume of a sphere. The volume is how much space takes up the inside of a sphere. Like volume is the uh, space occupied by any object which you have learned in your science also right so space occupied by any object or the capacity of that object how much it can hold the answer to the volume question is always in cubic units and for surface area it is always in a square units okay the surface area is in a square units and for volume it is cubic units volume is given by 4 by 3 pi r q so uh, you no need to memorize the formula you just need to understand the application from where exactly this formula has been derived in your ncrt book a lot of uh, activities are given which can be performed in your maths uh, mathematics lab which we are going to start very soon and in that lab uh, activity you will see you will be performing the activities where you will get to understand how to find the volume and surface area of the given solids for this one a basic activity is you take a cylinder having the radius equal to the radius of a sphere ball okay suppose this is the radius and the radius is here okay this is the hydro cylinder and I fill this cylinder with some water to some level and if I drop the ball into the cylinder and suppose the marking is still here only okay this is the marking of the water initially the when the ball is dropped the water level rises suppose the water level rises till here you take this water out by inserting a simple outlet from here and then pour the water in a measuring cylinder or a flask check the measurement this is a graduated flask where the measurements are already marked 
So check the measurements that will be in cubic units. So this will give you the volume of the given spherical ball. Okay. So this principle, uh, basically the principle behind this one is the Archimedes principle, the water displacement, right? Because of the ball, which when placed inside the cylinder. So the units will be cubic units. Another way of writing the volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube. So if you have the radius given and if you apply the formula 4 by 3 pi r cube and if you calculate the formula, the value using this formula and the value which you see in this cylindrical marked cylindrical a cylindrical vessel then both the values will match that means 4 by 3 pi r cube is the valid formula okay this is for a sphere same goes with hemispheres also hemispheres so hemispheres are nothing but half of spheres like if you cut a ball into two equal halves so this is a ball If you cut this ball into two equal halves, this first half or the second half will be equal to each other. That becomes hemisphere. So this is the first hemisphere. This one is second hemisphere. Surface area will be into two sections. One is called curved surface area. Another will be total surface area. Okay, because one end will uh, will get as a flat surface. The ball which you use in your homes also, you can just imagine that figure and try to understand this one. So CSA is curved surface area. The surface area of a sphere was 4 pi r square. So curved surface area will be 4 pi r square by 2 of the hemisphere. This is for a sphere. This will be hemisphere. So it will be 2 pi r square. For total surface area, we have the curved surface area plus, plus area of the base. Area of base. That is in circular shape only. So it will be... 2 pi r square plus pi r square will be 3 pi r square. Okay. The units measurement will be square units. Like centimeter square or meter square depending upon the question. For the volume of hemisphere. The volume of a sphere which we have learned just now is 4 by 3 pi r cube. So volume of hemisphere will be 4 by 3 pi r cube by 2 divided by 2 it will result to 2 by 3 pi r cube in cubic units okay in tomorrow's video you will find some problems based on spheres and hemispheres volume and surface area that's all from today class for any problems you can ask in your virtual class thank you